you guys are looking for a cheap and reliable place to gain your FIFA 23 ultimate team coins from and please head over to fifacoin.com link will be in description don't forget to use my code martin for a five percent discount hi guys martin 88 here and welcome back to another fifa 23 video and the tutorial series continues today as we are looking at how to finish all the different types of finishing how to do it what's the best way etc etc um if you haven't seen previous videos this week, we've looked at tactics, we've looked at um, skill moves, and we're gonna be looking at defending, and we're also gonna be looking at my secret tips and tricks, so stay tuned for that. Guys, like I always say as well, if you are interested in getting involved in some squad battles coaching, or you're struggling with your offline gameplay, please feel free to get in touch with me, email martinfifa88 at gmail.com. But without further ado, let's get into the action and let's see some of these goals and how to finish. Okay, so the first shot type that we're going to have a look at is the Traveller, which has, um, there's been a lot of hype around that, this FIFA, because it's relatively new or it might be brand new, but it works. That's the, that's the key. I don't use it all the time but there are scenarios where it works very very nicely for those of you that um have never done it or you don't really know what it is this first clip i've left it with the replay and everything just so that you can really just see how it works you have to press l2 while you're shooting or hold it down as you're about to shoot and you need to be in the correct angle so you can see there with fred I just had him at the nice angle to be able to um, cut across the ball with the outside of his um, boot. When to do it? I find the best time to do it. A situation like this. I've got Leon Bailey and I could maybe take a shot on with his right foot. But he's very one-footed. So that is ideal time to put the Traveller in and to um, stick it in the back of the net with the outside of the boot. Similar sort of situation here with Sterling, who's a three-star weak foot. Um... Obviously, he's on his right foot, lovely angle, hold down L2, and it goes into the top corner. So, it does, it's not just for show, in my opinion. There is a time and a place um, to pull it off. So, yeah, would really recommend that, and that's how to do it. Right. The next one is a little bit, you might think it's a bit weird to include this, but corners, right? There's so many, when I start coaching with people, there's so many of them that, just don't score from corners to start off with. And you're just missing out on goals. So many goals. And you can see here what I do. I call the player over. Wait until the defender has come all the way. Simply turn. Sprint past him. Take my finger off of the sprint button. And hit the ball into the near post. But use your brain. If, if, the, if you're facing a different setup and actually it's really quite crowded at the near post you can maybe just go on an extra yard and you'll be able to hit it towards the far post but the point is guys that for me this is the best way to score goals off of corners when you're playing squad battles now um we're going to have a look now at the two more traditional routes to goal okay which is going to be near post and then far post okay my number one preference is to go far post okay but there is a time and a place to go near post it would be a situation that you're watching right now in front of you okay it could be the fact that you have um somebody like foden and it's on his strong foot so therefore you want to hit it near post okay or it might just be that there's a lovely um angle to do it okay so it's all about the body positioning, okay? So for me, you always, you almost want to be facing the um, opposite side of the field. You can see here, so it goes near post, but my body angle is basically facing the opposite touchline. And then smash it in, two and a half bars of power, over-exaggerate the direction, and you should be golden. And a lot of those tips will take you in now to these far post clips, okay? it's For me, a big deal of it is about the body positioning, okay? You, for me, you want to be able to hit it, like, straight on. Too many people start to cut inside, and that actually forces you to hit it straight. You want to be able to cut across the ball. It gives you so much more power. If you have a look at the body position here of Jota, I'm literally facing 
the stand directly on okay i'm not at an angle i'm directly facing the the stand which allows me to get my foot across the ball and often that will end up in the side netting which is exactly where we want over exaggerate the direction as well you might think you're hitting in the corner you're probably not over exaggerate it and if you can try and make sure that you're putting two and a half bars of power on the shot okay guys so there we have it that's your finishing tutorial. Hope you've learned something from it. If you have, please feel free to drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you tomorrow for another tutorial. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.